Uh, hi everyone and welcome back and in this video I'm going to start with a new course uh, Node.js crash course so in my last video I talked about that I'm going to publish some crash course and some uh, full training courses like Node.js React Angular and crash course in Next.js, Docker and Node.js okay so this is my first crash course on Node.js and what we are going to talk about the basic intermediate level of Node.js so if you quickly wanted to learn about Node.js not at the expert level then you can just go through the crash course and then you can just learn Node.js from somewhere or from my channel itself because I already published the intermediate and Node.js advanced level training okay so let's get started with the node.js first what we are going to talk about is the agenda of this particular training so i have divided this course into three different parts i think uh, i don't need to introduce myself uh, i have already talked about all these things in my previous videos i'm a trainer developer publisher and i'm publishing a lot of videos on my channel just to help developers to learn good things okay so let's talk directly about the uh, what we are going to cover in the different sections about this particular course so here i'm going to talk about okay basic node.js what is node.js because people have a different understanding about node.js it is a server side scripting language it is just a javascript blah 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 okay we'll talk about node.js internal modules then talk about what is npm how to do the installations and verification about node.js then we'll talk about the asynchronous node.js and how this how this node.js is a single threaded known io blocking and we will after understanding the node cli how this node red eval print loop works uh, we'll talk about some internal node.js modules like file system modules http modules how to create a basic server how to write a basic command line program in node.js after that we will talk about how you can build actually apis what all things you can do with the node.js like server side rendering you can render a website from the node.js you can create a http server you can talk to other uh, different service you can write asynchronous code in node.js where you have to wait for some times to get the data from some other party apis okay so there is a long way to go so in this video first what we will talk about is what actual node.js is so we have a different understanding about what is node.js it is an environment to run javascript outside the browser okay that basically what node.js is it's open source runtime and yes it is not one of those open source project where it is like it's open source but really you can't really work on it okay it's open source and what it is giving you it is giving you capability to run javascript outside browser okay till now or if you haven't come through the node.js till today the node.js or basic javascript we understand okay it's running on the javascript client i mean on the browser but with this runtime with this node.js runtime we are able to run javascript outside the browser we are able to write command line utility we are able to create server we are able to write processes which are doing some processing on the command line okay so there are a lot of things we are going to learn with node.js like uh, what node.js is it's uh, basically uh, running on the chrome v8 engine which is your chrome browser is running okay you will be writing the code in the bash or maybe in the vs code but that is going to run on the command line node.js is not going to give you the the ui where you can see the output you will just see everything on the command line okay so we'll talk about what this chrome v8 runtime engine okay this is something which is a baseline for your browser and for the node.js and on top of that v8 runtime engine node.js is using its own library to make other things possible which are out of the box of the browser outside the browser okay so what is these javascript engines so you might have heard about the the spider monkey or chakra these are actually javascript engines they are actually executing the javascript code onto the browser okay so similarly nothing but a node.js is actually built on v8 which is a engine for the chrome that is more popular okay so in the next video let's get started uh, and in the next video we'll start talking about how to get started with node.js